You see, there is a beautiful saying in English. My home is my castle. My home is my castle. I'm clear. My home is my castle. This is my house. This is my home. This is my room. I want to be private. This is my palace. That's my castle. Therefore, the court said in Malak Singh that you can't have unnecessary, unwarranted, at your own will or fancy, surveillance. And go to a person. Allow him his privacy. Allow him his honor. Allow him his dignity. And the court said this. This does not mean that the police have a license to enter the names of whomsoever the like or dislike in the surveillance register nor can the surveillance be such as to squeeze the fundamental freedoms guaranteed to all citizens or to obstruct the free exercise and enjoyment of those freedoms nor can the surveillance so intrude as to offend the dignity of the individual you cannot go wherever is going wherever is sitting, you can't have a surveillance on that, saying that you put it in a register that is a bad man. No. If you have a history seat, if you have the proof, prime efficacy, you can do it. Because you dislike the face of a man, you can't do it. The law doesn't permit it. You also don't like to be done unless you have done something so illegal, such surveillance is necessary. I have talked about liberty, but as people used to say 40 years back, if I don't have money, what do I do with liberty? Today also the people say that. Therefore the court came up, no, a man should have some kind of social assurance, social assurance, economic assurance. He must have some kind of say in the social economy <coughs> so that he gets whatever he deserves and the state must endeavor to implement how far as far as practicable the directive principles of state policy that is where the social or socio individual dignity came in that gave structure to the collective dignity, the individual dignity gradually transformed to dignity of the collective and the collective dignity encompassed or engulfed the individual dignity. While this was going on, another phenomenon took that people were not having hygienic atmosphere. Environment has to be good. Otherwise, you see people say you have chicken, gunya, dengue and all that kind of things now. But I was told those mosquitoes grow in good water, not in dirty water, be that as it may. The environment philosophy matters. You see, I always believe there has to be two kinds of morality, apart from your individual ethical morality. I'll be happy, I'll ask someone in the front if he can answer or if she can answer, not the faculty members. Now, she has smiled, so she, I hope she's not a faculty member. Physical morality. I am associating with environmental morality. Every individual, every citizen has a duty to maintain the hygienic atmosphere and therefore I would like to call it environmental morality on the part of an individual when he wants to have individual dignity. There cannot be one way that has to be give and take. In that context or in another context, I would like to know what is our students, you are students. Please, one of you stand up. We will have an interaction session, I have time, no problem. Tomorrow is a Sunday. In what do you understand by physical morality? 
any you can the fourth row the man with the boy with specs ha you are, yeah yeah who turn left and right are aap batao na yes ha yeah yeah you have been able to identify yourself don't worry please ha yes 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 whatever you understand please don't feel embarrassed or if you are feeling embarrassed i don't intend to embarrass you ma'am can you answer anyway we'll have that interaction session with you huh? don't worry i remember physical morality means you say in sanskrit it's a very simple thing kaya suchi we have three suchis bak suchi kaya suchi arth suchi you must have financial morality you must have morality of language and you must have physical morality and this physical kaya suchi is our traditional concept and physical morality is not my thought there is a english poet called herbert spencer he has devoted few passages on physical morality the physical morality is a constitutional value for every citizen if you read your chapter with regard to the fundamental duties article 51a it's a duty of every citizen to try to achieve excellence if you can't maintain physical morality you can't achieve excellence and as a student you have to practice from today with regard to physical morality the kaya suchi i do not intend to explain it in detail